So let's let's look into the future now, and and I just want to get your thoughts on this. So you know, presuming that proof of stake chains are the future of blockchain, and that proof of work chains um, become less and less used um, because proof of stake has clear benefits. And what we're seeing right now is like Cosmos is about to launch and you know, Polkadot is also making some headway. And like these, these chains are proof of stake negative. If it takes three to five years for Ethereum 2.0 to fully, you know, to be fully realized with proof of stake and sharding uh, and like, you know, side chains and everything, do you think there's a risk that Ethereum would lose some of its network effect and some of its uh, sort of authority as you know the primary and sort of like authoritative smart contracting uh, uh, DAP platform to other chains that are you know, natively proof of stake and you know, already you know, having the ability to build DAPs and things on them? Yeah, so this is a very interesting question. So to uh, first uh, to address the point of proof of stake, I think. I was really looking forward to Cosmos launch because I, to me, it was the first kind of non-trivial proof of stake system that will come to the to to sort of production, and I'm really excited for it to launch. Um, and I think there was a bit of a, a competition there between all these uh, three things. And now, obviously, we probably will see Cosmos launch first and Polkadot after that, and Ethereum only the third. Um, and we will see how it goes. And hopefully this is going to work. Uh, <laughs> but I will still th see that the, the, the proof, of work, proof, of work is not, proof of work is not dead yet. So we will we'll be stuck with it for a while. Um, and, um, and to the second part of your question is whether Ethereum might lose its uh, appeal. It might actually do it. Um, and one way to not this, let this happen is to actually uh, bring new experiments and innovations to it. So as an example, a lot of people look at the state rent as the, some sort of negative uh, kind of negative uh, thing. But I actually, I would say that lots of, if you look around, a lot of the blockchains that, that reach the certain state, st uh, sorry, scale, you know, in the beginning, when you launch a new blockchain, it's always like, Yes, yes, we're going to be a super duper blockchain that will kind of scale enormously. But when they do reach certain scale, they start seeing the problems of the growing state. And these problems repeat again and again everywhere. That's why in lots of projects, they started to think about the state rent to introduce it, but nobody actually done it so far. So what I see, if the theorem does it first and actually shows how it needs to be done, this is going to be a, a, a really big step forward, not step backwards. So it, it will be the first uh, real-life introduction of this concept, which everybody was just talking about and theorizing, theorizing of, and now we have it in practice. And um, it will be basically, I, I can see it as the competitive advantage, uh, uh, pretty much. Uh, and uh, the other things as well is, uh, uh, you know, if you... Um, to do the, the, the things like Iwasm, I know that uh, Polkadot already has native Iwasm, but again, we will see who is uh, going to do it first. 